Um, I still remember, you know, printing out every single letter of my first startup, um, printing out the C, print, printing out the Y, printing out the B, the A, the T, the A, and the R, and sticking them on the wall, setting up, um, pasting, you know, A3 pages on the wall so that I, I could take down notes. And it was all deliberate. I was, I was writing a story. I was building my own story. And I knew that one day I'd have to stand and tell it. And I, in a way, documented everything. What you see at the back is uh, photos from 2014 and 2015 of me in my garage. How did I get here and why, you know, start in the garage? In the year 2013, whilst a law student at the University of Pretoria, I noticed that a lot of things were changing around me. Um, the internet which was supplied by the university at, uh, at, at a fee had become free. The city of Tswane in Pretoria um, was setting up free Wi-Fi hotspots. I noticed that the mobile phone wasn't a phone anymore, but was a computer of some sort because I'm sure a lot of us don't really use the phone to make calls anymore. We use it for texting, we use it for email, we use it to do research and everything. And interpreting everything around me, instinct told me that there was some revolution that was happening. I didn't know about fourth industrial revolution at the time, I was a law student, um, but it was some kind of data revolution, some kind of mobile revolution, some kind of internet revolution, and I wanted to be a part of it. I did some research, and you know, when I did research, I learned about things like the internet of things, cloud computing, and I was like, you know, this is the next big thing, and I want to be part of it. Um, at the end of the year, I had decided I'm not going back to school. Um, I'm going to look for an apartment or a flat outside of the academic vicinity, and I moved to a, uh, a suburb called Silver Lakes in, in Pretoria East, and, you know, luckily it had the garage, which I really wanted to have, because I had watched a lot of, you know, documentaries from the past, I followed the stories of Steve Jobs and all those guys in America who really did cool stuff. Um, and I wanted to start like a, you know, a Silicon Valley kind of tech startup. So... I spent time here. Um, the first business that I started was um, a kind of digital music, com a music company, multimedia company. Um, I had a, a radio studio uh, and did some recording and also did digital music distribution for, for upcoming artists. It helped me really see how every industry will change. And um, I used what I learned there to then get into other industries. I then founded the first tech company, Cybata, and the music business became a side piece. But a few months after that, I worked on a project called Ryovic. Um, we built an insurance platform uh, with a co-founder of mine. And, you know, a few months after that, luckily the, in 2015, October, uh, RMB's uh, alpha code was open and we were part of the first startups that were invited to be part of that. And that was my official move out of the garage, step out of the garage into you know, proper working environment where I could literally disrupt a, um, a real you know, industry. So, yeah, a um, few months after getting into the space, the story has changed. Um, I'm one of the real risk disruptors in the fintech space in the country with international recognition, and we're doing great things. Um, my name is Piwan Gambule, the 26-year-old co-founder and CEO of Ryovic.